Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video, we studied in IR spectroscopy that what are the different factors that affect absorption frequency. Today, we will discuss different regions in IR spectrum that are important and uh, what are the different functional groups and uh, the regions where they absorb radiations. So, in this case, in IR spectrum, we have almost 400 per centimeter to 4000 per centimeter wave number or frequency region. So, in this region, from 400 or 500 to 1500 per centimeter wavelength region is fingerprint region. Here, most of the absorption bands will be present for our compounds. So, we are going to discuss this region in detail but before this from 1500 to 4000 per centimeter in this region is called the functional group region so this is our functional group region most of the functional groups and their peaks are present in this region now we are going to discuss in detail these regions <coughs> if we look at here in the fingerprint region, most of the bending vibrations or rocking vibrations or deformations will be present. And uh, from this region, different peaks are present, but we cannot determine the functional group of the compounds. Like here, in this region, there is CH bending vibration. So, when we are going to observe different functional groups, we start from 1000 to onward. Like here, we have CO stretching vibration in case of ethers, RCN stretching vibrations, and CC stretching vibration in alkanes, etc. So, here will be the single bond stretching in this region from 1000 to 1500. But this region is also in the fingerprint region. When we move on from 1500 to 2000, we have the carbonyl group stretching vibrations, amide group or C double bond and amine group stretching vibration or alkenes stretching vibrations. So here are the double bond stretching vibrations and more specifically it is from 1600 to 1800 per centimeter region. So here is the absorption frequency region and it, it is going to decrease when we are going from C double bond O to C double bond C. So C double bond O due to electronegativity difference of the carbon and oxygen it will have higher absorption frequency than nitrogen and then carbon. Similarly if we look at the triple bond stretching region it is from 2000 to 2500 but more specifically it is from 2200 to 2400 region. In this region <coughs> We have nitrile group stretching vibrations and alkyne group acetylenic bond is present in this region. And from 2500 to 4000 or more specifically 2700 to 3500. This is the region where our bond like OH bond, NH or CH bond will be present. So we represent it as ZH single bond stretches. So here we have the functional group like alcohol groups or phenols and here we have amines and other CH groups like alkane or other hydrocarbons stretching vibration will be present here. So in this way we can represent that we have different functional group regions if we look at the whole so we can we can like here so the whole spectrum will be like this. And now moving to the each functional group so we are going to take each functional group one by one so here are the different functional groups and their absorption bands so absorption bands for different type of bonds and their functional groups due to stretching vibrations so we are going to take examples of the stretching vibrations not bending vibrations so first bond here we have single bond carbon hydrogen bond in this case the hybridization is sp3 and uh, the functional group for this bond is alkanes and the frequency 
is from 2800 to 3000 per centimeter. In case of CH bond where we have alkenes or C double bond C behind this. So in alkenes or aromatic compounds the CH stretching will be from 3000 to 3100 and in CH bond where we have alkynes or triple bond before this the alkyne functional group the stretching CH stretching will be 3300 so in all three cases the CH stretching is present but uh, if we look at the absorption frequencies it is from 2800 to 3300 as we move downward like here we have triple bond carbon and then CH so it is SP hybridized so in case of SP hybridized its S character is increased and due to this S greater S character this bond is more stronger and this hydrogen is closer to this carbon so they, that's why the its absorption frequency is greater than the previous one and same in the case in here we have SP2 hybridization and the S character is greater than here where we have sp3 hybridization so that's why these ch stretching vibrations have different frequencies in alkanes alkenes are aromatic and alkynes now we are going to take example of the oh stretching oh stretching in alcohols and phenols the absorption frequency is 3600 to 3650 per centimeter and in case of oh stretching in carboxylic group are carb with carbonyl group the stretching frequency like here we have carboxylic acid functional group the stretching frequency is going to decrease that is from 2500 to 3300 per centimeter this stretching frequency decreases because of the because of this carbonyl group and due to this carbonyl group this OH bond stretching or this OH bond will be weaker than the OH bond in alcohol because of the acidic nature of the carbonyl and due to resonating inductive resonating withdrawing effect of the carbonyl group and uh, in case of amine like here we have NH bond stretching and in amines the double it is 3300 to 3500 and doublet will be present in case of amine same in the case if this amine is present with the carbonyl group like in amides the stretching vibration will be lowered down the frequency will be lowered down like in case of alcohol and carboxylic acid OH stretching now here we have CH stretching but in this case the stretching is due to uh, uh, the stretching ca carbon is uh, present with attached with the oxygen so here we have carbonyl group and then it is bonded with hydrogen so in this case the functional group is aldehyde and this stretching also is from 2720 to 2820 so it is from 2800 to lower down and it decreases from 2800 to 2700 and it is also because of this this uh, resonating effect of this carbonyl group and due to this this bond is going to weaker now we have carbon carbon double bond like present in alkene now we are going to take this example as carbon carbon double bond stretching so in this case the functional group is alkene the stretching uh, the frequency absorption will be from 1600 to 1680 per centimeter and uh, if we look at this carbon carbon stretching in aromatic compounds where there is resonance so we studied in previous video that uh, resonance decreases the absorption frequency and here now we are going we are taking this uh, we are going to observe that the absorption frequency is decreasing in benzene ring due to the resonance so it is from 1600 to it becomes 1500 and uh, the other is the carbon carbon triple bond like it, it is present in alkynes and this stretching is from 2100 to 2300 now if we take 
if we look at the stretching vibrations like carbon carbon double bond and then carbon triple bond so carbon triple bond as we know that it is more stronger therefore that's why it absorbs in greater frequency uh, level than the carbon carbon double bond and single bond even more less carbonyl group c double bond o c double bond o is present in aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acids and uh, its absorption frequency is different in different groups but it ranges from 1680 to 1740 so 1600 to 1800 is the region where carbonyl stretching is present c triple bond n it is nitrile group stretching vibration it is 22 22 22 60 so if we look at this carbonyl stretching so carbonyl stretching in this case it is more stronger than this c double triple bond c because of this nitrogen electronegativity and its its frequency is greater absorption frequency is greater than the carbon carbon triple bond here we are going to take some examples of co like uh, co single bond it is present in ethers and it is from 1300 to 1500 similarly carbon carbon single bond in alkanes is also lies in this region so these are the different functional groups and their absorption frequencies so we can detect different functional groups in these regions so thanks for today in our next lecture we will study ir instrumentation and uh, what are the different uh, type of ir spectrophotometer and their detail